one of my interests beyond CLL is, is the, I'm also interested in the other indolent um, uh, lymphoproliferative disorders, specifically follicular lymphoma. And we presented data, uh, five-year outcomes, on a SWOG uh, single-arm phase two clinical trial in previously untreated follicular lymphoma patients. This was a pretty um, lengthy, aggressive treatment strategy where patients uh, received RCHOP, radioimmunotherapy, as well as four years of maintenance rituximab. So um, really sort of putting everything together at the time the study was designed to see if we could um, generate even better results. And, and what we observed was that um, at follow-up now of uh, more than five years, uh, we saw results that were better than what we've ever observed in any National Clinical Trials Network first-line study in follicular lymphoma. 94% of patients were uh, without disease progression at two years, which compares pretty favorably against the 80% historical standard, 95% of patients were still alive at five years. So this, um, while we have moved away from using RCHOP and certainly radioimmunotherapy for first-line treatment of follicular lymphoma, these results really suggest to me that in the early progressing follicular lymphoma patients, we really, we really still need to study aggressive strategies to see if we can change the natural history of that small group of patients. Um, also taught us that prolonged maintenance therapy may not be the best idea for this um, uh, elderly population.